125,000 kids right here in the metro will go to bed hungry tonight. And when they get to school in the morning, learning will be difficult. Beth Vaughn is live at the Platte City Price Chopper to explain how you can help. Beth? Yeah, hi, Mark. We have a chance to help out in a big way today. Come on out to the Platte City Price Chopper and help us fill this harvester's truck full of perishable food items. But first, to look at the issue of hunger and children. Thank you. What used to be the lunch line is now the line for supper. Low-fat turkey hot dog on a whole grain bun, a fruit and a vegetable, and then low-fat dairy. It's 4 o'clock at Ingalls Elementary, which means dinner for students in the after-school program. <laughs> According to the Director of Nutrition Services for Hickman Mills, almost every student at the school qualifies for free or reduced meals. So the students are getting subsidized meals at lunch and breakfast, and so it just helps extend the families you know, on a limited income. It's simple. A meal served here saves parents from having to scrape together a meal at home. A new program in 13 Kansas City, Kansas schools feeds kids free breakfast in the classroom, erasing the stigma of free or reduced. Stay focused and listen. And giving students a chance to learn without distraction. Everyone comes in the morning, they get to eat free breakfast. Those students who used to pay for breakfast, they don't have to pay anymore. Hunger or poor nutrition can be hard to diagnose. Patients will come in with things like weakness, uh, dizziness, maybe some digestive issues like diarrhea. Then comes weight loss, says pediatrician Dr. Scott Daddle, and if it's not caught quickly, a whole range of underdevelopment. We need that protein and we need that fat for brain development, and it either develops or it doesn't develop. And obviously if it doesn't develop normally, you're going to have intellectual problems later and not be... A real need that is growing right here in Kansas City. One in five children have food insecurity in Kansas City today. That need very real, but you can help out tonight, too. So come on out to the Platte City Price Chopper. Help us out. And we want to thank you for donating by giving you one of these fill-the-fridge bags so you can remember why you donated and also you can remember harvesters all year long, not just this week. Back to you guys. All right, Beth. Very important. Thank you. Now, don't forget, you can also donate online at kshb.com slash fill the fridge. So far, we have raised more than $2,400 online. That's the equivalent of more than 12,000 meals.